nice to meet you, Professor Same G. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm really thankful for this opportunity today to talk to you to ask some questions. And I hope with this uh, video, I can also give a little idea to the people out there what not you guys, which is the thing that you are so dedicated to <laughs> that you're bringing to the world. So do you want to maybe start explaining what not yoga is because many people when they think about yoga they think about asanas and <laughs> bringing your your uh, leg up to the head and things like that <laughs> yeah and then calling mom saying hey i'm stuck <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you doctor first of all you know so this opportunity and this conversation with you that you know you come in from the healing angle too, from the mm -hmm. medical science. Mm -hmm. And you put years and years and your entire life's dream into becoming a doctor, a dedicated healer. We're trying to do the exactly the same thing. You're mm -hmm. trying to fix people when they come to your surgery, to hospital. And I am trying to help them exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. Our uh, procedures are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. You may be uh, with injections and pills and chemicals and sharp blades and all of that. I'm more with the sound. Mm -hmm. So going back to first your question, Nad and yoga, when emotions are expressed mm -hmm. through the sound, when emotions are felt mm -hmm. through the sound, mm -hmm. that's what nadis. is. Mm -hmm. When sound becomes the portal to express what you're feeling emotionally is called nad, the sound. Mm -hmm. And when you're a master to have a sensible dialogue a conversation with your own self. Mm -hmm. What to say, when to say, how to say, why to say, whom and where, all of these things. Once you are very much out of fog and very clear, simply you know how to have a conversation, that ability is called yoga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, is to be able to communicate beyond words mm -hmm. is not yoga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you explained yesterday that there are schools of yoga which are more like bending something until it breaks or until it um, yeah, molds into that form. And not yoga works different. You don't bend your body, you do a process which is different. So see, it's more like an internal process. You don't see so much at the outside. It's more in the inner world that it happens, right? It's, 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 a, it, it's a different, isn't it, in medical science too. Mm -hmm. um, I hope it's okay. I, I, if I can answer this to you, the way you understand it from your mm -hmm. yes. school of practice or of I can just use yoga. No, oh, please context. do it. In so see, in you have homeopathy, right? Yes. And you have um, normal medicines, popular medicine. Uh, within that medicine, there are so many different ways. Mm -hmm. But the school is to fix the people. Mm -hmm. Yoga is the same thing. There are different schools. There are schools which just focus on body. Mm -hmm. Some focus on body and mind. Some focuses on body, mind and soul. Mm -hmm. um, and then the method, like there's a two different uh, parallel lines. Basic differences are two. One is called Hatha Yoga. Mm -hmm. In... in this world, popular Hatha Yoga. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's asanas, there are very rigid rituals, mm-hmm. strong ones, and you have to do this, you know, ashtanga, vipassana, kundalini, all of that is from hatha yoga. Mm-hmm. Then there's another parallel, uh, not against or opposite, it is another school of thought and that is Nadi Yoga and that is through communication. Mm-hmm. Because in Nadi Yoga, the masters think that your body is a shadow of your mind. Mm-hmm. So if you know how to win the heart of your mind, you will be so super happy mm-hmm. and you will be amazingly happy. You will know how to become medis- meditation, mm-hmm. how to become mantra instead of uh, doing mm-hmm. meditation mm-hmm. and singing mantra. Mm-hmm. So for me it made it, these words, you know, they hit home and I felt I want to do this, mm-hmm. you know, I want to I want to enjoy chocolate. I don't want to go on diet. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. uh, I like having nice cars, up to date computers, and nice house, nice family. I don't want to go to cave. Um, I don't want to go into minimal thing. Uh, um, Nadia Yoga made me think like Americans, big, <laughs> you know, bigger than life. So. And I said, look, I've been given an opportunity by the, uh, you know, by the Creator. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I've been given this gift. So I have to live maximum. Mm-hmm. And Nadia Yoga helped me with that because it is go crazy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's live your life. Mm-hmm. Don't hold back. Express, listen and make the right decision at the wrong time. And that was so much fun for me to learn mm-hmm. and then apply. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, and you also said that you uh, had this gift. And I think this is also something that is very interesting about you, that you came into not yoga and that you became Professor G because <laughs> you had a severe injury in your spine yeah, yeah. and because the doctors were around you and they couldn't help you and then you helped yourself and that's when you discovered that it really works what you learned and what you absorbed there in India and all the temples and from all the gurus you were learning. Um, we were having detailed conversations mm-hmm. last night and this morning uh, at breakfast. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a miracle or it's something different. I think we all go through something, right? Mm -hmm. Something transforming, something very challenging. Mm -hmm. And everybody's life have some challenge, Mm -hmm. something which shocked them, something which made them think and restart. Mm -hmm. Maybe you had something at, at the, when you were a child or just last week. It doesn't have to be life-threatening. Mm-hmm. It has to be something noticeable, which mm-hmm. makes you take a big turn in mm-hmm. life. In my life, it was a physical thing. I thought yoga, hocus pocus, actually I thought. My teachers were telling how powerful the sound is, and I was thinking, really? Mm-hmm. Look, these big machines, you know, MRI machines, x rays, and operations, and doctors, when it comes to healing, they perform the miracle. Mm-hmm. And by luck, or I don't know what, 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 what I can call that, that those machines could not help me. Mm-hmm. when I needed them the most mm-hmm. and when they couldn't mm-hmm. I had no option mm-hmm. but to go into this mm-hmm. I was so shocked <laughs> and ashamed mm-hmm. that I took this so lightly mm-hmm. what Guru Nanak said the master I followed the head of the school 
his philosophy. He says, what he said, he said, develop this skill of listening to your mind and build this bridge within the heart of your mind, invest time into falling in love mm -hmm. and create that oneness. That's where your secrets are. And I, I used to think, then what? Well, now I know mm -hmm. that it can fi fix you physically, if help me physically. Look, I can move my fingers and hands and I see, I can blink, I can hear. Like physically, I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. But it was not just about physical fitness. It was after losing everything, not mm -hmm. just health, but whole dream of career. Mm -hmm. Trauma. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, standing in front of the mirror, going through, you know, the, all the scars every single day, knocks on the doors. Mm -hmm. And everything comes to you with question mark. How do you deal with that? Mm -hmm. So, Nadia helped me to, to use my stress. Mm -hmm. not lose it. Mm -hmm. It showed me how can I feel and then deal mm -hmm. so that I can heal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than forget it. Mm -hmm. Look the other side. Diversion, Facebook, asana, diet, something different. Let's do that. Let, no. It's a collision heads on. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to what's giving you tension. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you just mentioned uh, Guru Nanak. So my next question is, did Guru Nanak uh, like create Nad Yoga or who was it? When was Nad Yoga created? By whom and for what purpose? You know, when you look into Bible, for example, it says, mm -hmm. when there was nothing, there was word. Mm -hmm. So it's not, this is not a new science. This is thousands and thousands year old practiced human psychological recomposition mechanism. You know, the psychiatrists and psychologists we meet now, they practice a program 200, 250 years old. Mm -hmm. And Guru Nanak was born in 1469. The school, the practice, the curriculum, the program he offered humanity was built by him. Curriculum. Mm -hmm. But the two, the Nad and the yogic side existed centuries prior to that. Mm -hmm. But the other school, Hatha Yoga, even today we want to be fit mm -hmm. and we are looking for quick uh, gratification and hence we go into things which are mental thing, mind thing, I don't know, you know. So mm -hmm. I want something like, I'll go to gym and, you know, and second day you ask your partner, do you see my muscles? <laughs> you know, you're looking for very quick results. Mm -hmm. um, so Guru Nanak broke this program and it took 240 years for a public trial for it to stand, mm -hmm. to show that her transformation is inevitable if somebody uses this program. So they used the gurus who provides this for 240 years to show humanity that this is your passport mm -hmm. to the ultimate health mm -hmm. when it comes to physical, mental, and I try to avoid the spiritual word because that comes from a different school, Buddhist mm -hmm. philosophy where Spirituality is in that context, that's it, you become an atheist. Mm -hmm. And I am a believer. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm more into oneness. You know, I believe in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I believe in, in the soul. Mm -hmm. When my body and mind have no collision, then what life takes as a solo, mm -hmm. that's the soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm so 
I can say, lost of words, gobsmacked. I'm so much having fun, enjoying and being in life. Um, I, I understood that either I can sing and play the mantra and chant, mm. or I can become one. Mm. So I chose the path to become mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and live the, this, this, this beautiful blessing of the Gurus. Mm -hmm. And you said this sentence of the Bible, when there was nothing, there was a word, and you also said you are a believer. And I know from your life story that your grandmother gave you the opportunity to go to church, to go to mosque, <laughs> to go to the temples. And so I want to know, do you believe in God? Um, you call that God or somebody calls it Prabhu, uh -huh. somebody calls it Rab, somebody mm -hmm. calls it Pramatma. But there has to be something more than us, isn't it? For me, like, mm -hmm. do you believe in your mind? Mm, well, I don't always believe what my mind I mean, tells you think me. That, you know, <laughs> but, but I believe my mind is real. In this. Have you seen it? No. Uh, that's what God is. That your mind is your God. Nanak says, your mind is how God is connected or you in this physical body's gift connected to your mm -hmm. source. Your source is your mind. Your mind is your God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into the words, but yes, the answer to your question, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in which role does the soul then play in this mind, body and soul? Try. When mind and body are not pulling each other's hair, <laughs> <laughs> when there's no disagreement, mm -hmm. I, I, I know what I said, I said, your body is a shadow of your mind, mm -hmm. but see your shadow, sometimes it's so big, sometimes so little, sometimes at night it disappears. Mm -hmm. Right, your mm -hmm. your shadow is not exactly the same depiction of your your true existence. Mm -hmm. So same thing happens to the body. Sometimes body goes this way and that way, mm -hmm. and and because there's no connection, mm -hmm. there's no marriage, there's no stealing the heart, there's no time to invest in you. Mm -hmm. And here, hence, its relationship is broken. Mm -hmm. So once you establish that and they become like the best mates, mm -hmm. that's what soul is. Mm -hmm. No illusion, nothing, no, no fog at all. It's very clear, conscious. So let me put it a different way our brain in the body, a doctor's way, yeah? Mm -hmm. Two sides of the brain, right? Mm -hmm. One is very logical. Mm -hmm. it, it's a processor where it's a logic thing. The other one is very creative. Mm -hmm. What will happen if you put them both together? The both starts working. They will fight. <laughs> or they will make the best ever song. Yeah. Right? Do you right. put them together and they are friends? Mm -hmm. You are mighty strong. Mm -hmm. And that is what soul is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is also what you do when you um, create a composition or you, you take a rag and then you play with that and put that logical uh, part, the rhythm and that and then you put the 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 modulation of the sound and how you sing it and how the 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 exact um yeah the the how you sing it and and put these little notes then in it so the the creative part and this is how also you you do the composition to heal somebody 
Yes, that's the musical side. Mm -hmm. It's like now you you take two tablets at the morning and one at the evening and these two other tablets at the middle of the day. You prescribed it and the person is now um, following your instructions because they want to get better. Mm -hmm. And But for you to get to this position where your words makes a huge difference. A patient comes to you and says, Doctor, I've got this, 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 this problem and you look at you look at them and you say, look, don't worry, this is normal, I'm going to fix this. Mm -hmm. And they feel so good. Just after a little sentence from you, although they're, everybody's been saying the same thing, but your words make so much sense because the person knows that you are a licensed doctor. Mm -hmm. You went through learning and you have experience, you went through the whole process. So in before the nod turned into feeling to, to sound and then uh, from sound to a rag to a mood, there is a lot of work mm -hmm. in the back mm -hmm. with the logical and creative brain, with emotions and uh, the rhythm of or rhythms of our life putting them together, understanding how to diagnose, what goes where and why. Mm -hmm. Because if you're happy, you'll be healthy like this. Mm -hmm. And making somebody happy requires time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the clarity. So Nad Yoga is, is preparing people from both angles on, on receiving the healing and and giving the healing uh, preparation is is done so Guru Nanak says develop your skills to listening mm -hmm. so you develop the skills to your focus you can find your philosophy you can develop your personality and you can live consciously mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I find it fascinating mm -hmm. that how simple he made it, beautiful he made it, you know, he mm -hmm. said, life is a song, right, mm -hmm. sing it, with, sing your heart out, you know, I used to think like, mm, really, <laughs> you know, really, but yes, mm -hmm. you know, I can share with you from my life, my experiences, yes, mm -hmm. you know, it works, it works way deeper than paracetamol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and how, because my mind is trying to imagine what happens. I have, it's like a little bit easier for me to imagine that when I sing about an emotion, I express it and then it's the I'm dealing with it because it becomes conscious. I'm like conscious and aware that I'm sad, for example, and then I express this sadness singing. But it also works that um, people come to someone who does not yoga or, for example, to the Sikh temples. I think that they, the, the Sikhi did this in, in their temples or in their space that people could come to them and uh, tell them about the problem or the issue that they have and then they would sing for this person and a healing would happen. I think this is what we made it now. Mm -hmm. um, Sikhi is not a religion. Mm -hmm. Sikhi is seeking. Mm -hmm. So Sikhi is not by following. Mm -hmm. Sikhi is being free and mm -hmm. independent. And, and becoming one with the source, mm -hmm. the oneness in, in your body and mind so that you can be the solo. Mm -hmm. You can be alone, I'm enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then colonial impact, you know, before colonial, I mean British, before them, the, the fight with the Mughals, fight of human rights, survival. Mm -hmm. 
once you're conscious, you know, mm -hmm. then you can't just swallow anything. Mm -hmm. So you will collide with those trying to manipulate you. Mm -hmm. And they will be very uncomfortable you knowing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They they don't want you they want you to get powerful but only to a limit where they can control you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like it's, you know, a farmer will will create his crop in a way so it's powerful, it gives a more you know, it's if it is a lamb it, it looks big and a lot of meat is heavy, it will feed and feed, but it won't let it to get to a power that it can overpower the farmer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? So this is how they, the people at the top, the governance has been trying to deal with humanity. Mm -hmm. And Guru Nanak's idea of equality, that humans are humans. Mm -hmm. Not that the one human is a god and every everybody else is a dog mm -hmm. and there has to be on a leash. Mm -hmm. So we there is enough room on planet Earth for everybody. Mm -hmm. So we must not control in that way, manipulative way. So he started bringing a newer, a natural order. He started bringing a awakening and awareness from nowadays we use word like uh, the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. influence in our lives. What is it? Control. In social media some people are trying to bring in awareness so the people can have different life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just conspiracy, sometimes it's just bad media, sometimes it is, uh, it's like I see water was available mm -hmm. and somebody said can we sell it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sell it to whom to these people mm -hmm. sell it to them bottle it and sell it oh it's not possible it's available mm -hmm. so they started a pr a campaign that water is polluted and what's wrong this is wrong that's wrong and slowly slowly people got influenced by it. They're, mm -hmm. That's not this, mm -hmm. this yoga of manipulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do not yoga too. When your patient comes in and looks, you say, okay, what's wrong? And you discuss their problem, you diagnose, mm -hmm. and then you tell them, I got it. Mm -hmm. So there is something in your, in your sound, through your sadhana, through your experiences that you have attained this mood and when you use that mode, that rag, that existence, that experience to tell your patients, I got it. Mm -hmm. And suddenly he or she will say, oh, thank you, Dr. Ruhi says, I already feel better. Mm -hmm. What did you do? That's what not your guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so it's not always about complicated drugs and you have to do different asanas with the voice. No. It is very natural, simple, conscious approach to, to the dialogue you have within. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's all about emotional agility mm -hmm. that can you punctuate your life. Your life. Mm -hmm. Can you apply, can you articulate your emotions? Can you apply that emotional code mm -hmm. and live genuine? Mm -hmm. I, 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 if I would like to use an, an analogy for this, then I will go in the morning, sometime we get up, wake up and we do this and we say, huh, I don't know what's wrong today, I don't like, Hey, if you don't know about you what's wrong, who else will? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Nat Yoga removes that. It gives you to you. Mm -hmm. So that in every moment of your life, 
you know what's you're going on inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you become enlightened. <laughs> then, that's it. then you're not in dark. That's what it means. Yes. You're clear. Yes, you're clear about what is going on inside of yourself. Mm. You're understanding yourself. And also by expressing to another human being what is happening inside myself, this helps the mind organize what is happening. And I think that, or what I understood now is that how you are saying when somebody else says, I understand now, I got it what's happening, that this is a part of the healing to be seen, to be heard and to be felt by another person. Guru Hanak says, Suniye Duk Papka Nath To be able to hear and through hearing to be able to feel that emotional agility has been given to us through the word is a healing that helps us a deal, it gives us a confidence. Mm -hmm. Did you ever say to your dad, Dad, I love you? You gave yeah. him a hug and said, I love you, right? Yes. And you, you very clearly remember you said, I love you to mm -hmm. dad. Then you said this to your boyfriend. Also. Same word, right? Yes. I love you. It's a word is same. Yes. So what changed? So life is all about that. That is not yoga. Mm -hmm. That what changed the meanings to the same word. Because it's not the meaning, it's a feeling you changed. Mm -hmm. It is what is before the feeling, the emotions related to in which sector they come through. You know, one is in attachment, another one can be lust. You know, and when you are at work, and you, if you're a politician, if people are in front of you, your vote bank, and you say, oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. you. Genuinely, you say that and they feel it. Because this is your vote bank. Mm -hmm. These are your customers. Mm -hmm. And you, your bread and butter, your power relies on it. So your, your field is greed here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. We have made it sin, but it's not. But do you understand? how simple the mind is and how complicated we made this science for healing and how much box we have small teeny tiny box very hardly we can maneuver when it comes to life mm -hmm. and guru nanak breaks that box he says free you are sky is your limit fly my dear mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i really love it i think that's <laughs> it's, it's amazing it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. amazing yeah. So what I understood now also is that that the Sikh religion, because in Wikipedia when you Google it, <laughs> it's like on the religions next to Christianity and and Islam and things like that. Um, but it's more a philosophy. It's a it was a philosophy or it is a philosophy to make you free, to make you conscious to make you aware of what happens inside of you and to become healed and whole I think, by that. I think religion, politics and money shouldn't be discussed mm -hmm. because it's a very personal thing, personal choice, right? Mm -hmm. And Guru Nanak did the same thing. He was hanging around with Muslims and Hindus and Jains and had never an issue. He doesn't care what you want to call, call, what decision you want to make to call your God what. Mm -hmm. He had no issue that you want to go to mosque and you want to hang around with Indians or Germans or what culture you belong to. He, his focus is a different side and mm -hmm. that is humanity, human nature and naturally how we are, how can we be and become but his, his way of doing that was regulated by some people especially mm -hmm. East India Company in the 1850s and they put the word ism, sick mm -hmm. ism, like do you, did you go to university Dr. Malaysia? Yes. <laughs> do you go there do bow every single day? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Guru Nanak said, he said don't follow me. Uh -huh. 
seek. So you went to university to learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you meet Nanak to become. The same, exactly yes. same thing. So it was something like that. Then it was turned into religion um, and everything changed. So, well, if you're seeking, you will, you'll, you'll know that you don't go to law school to become a doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That much consciousness is required mm -hmm. in a student to find that. You know, if you want to have carrot soup, then you won't walk into cake shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that much awareness is needed. Yes. Yeah. So, because it's your life, so I leave it in your hand. It's your choice. Uh -huh. You want to go do the hard work? Fine. I salute. Mm -hmm. or there is option hard work mm -hmm. then I can support also mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's great that's great I will have a little look on my little notes oh yes I have a good question and it is we were, we were talking about the soul a few minutes ago mm. and um, I'm also really interested in not only when the physical body gets ill, but we also have in German we have this word seelische Erkrankungen, so when the soul has a disease, mm -hmm. more or less. So we use that for all the things like depression, schizophrenia, and things like Indeed. that. Indeed. And from your perspective, do you think that it is the soul that gets the disease, that gets ill? Or isn't it because sometimes we, we hear stuff like, no, the soul is untouchable and the soul is always, uh, yeah, like whole and the soul is never in an illness, it's something no, else. No, um, it's two cables, one, you plug one into the plug and you look at the bulb and you say, there's no light. Mm -hmm. But once you plug the both in mm -hmm. and you switch it on, what happens? Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. the, the, everything is required. And the problem can pro, problem is never in the bulb. This is misconception that body gets sick. Mm -hmm. No, it's a mind. Spiritual depression, again I'm using the word, but not in Buddhist context. Your soul does get a depression. It's a different realm. Mm -hmm. Your mind, what is depression? It is a mental thing. Yes. And then your body just behave. I don't want to get out of my room, you know, I don't like people. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Mm -hmm. Or you become anxious, you know, you're three seconds advanced and suddenly you can't hold on to glass, everything you touch falls down, you know, you're anxious. What is that? Why your body is doing this? Problem you need to understand is not with the body, mm -hmm. it is with the mind. Mm -hmm. And you can't fix it, giving a pill. To body, mm. you need to find a solution with the mind. Mm -hmm. What is a religious um, conditioning? You know, so one will get up and put bombs in the body and go into a public and room mm -hmm. under the name of crusade or jihad or religion. How, how is that possible? Yes, people do really crazy stuff like yeah. saying it's in the name of God. So you word the you use the word crazy. That is the state uh -huh. where the issue is through the manipulation or through the narrative has been created. And you see like monastery. If you if you just open last two years of Canada's uh, look into the, the schools, they find thousands and thousands of children's bodies mm -hmm. under these schools, mm -hmm. these monasteries, mm -hmm. 
where those priests who who said you know celibacy and went in very religious mode but body is body body is given given you as a gift and with other programming but what happens killing happens rape happens extortion happens manipulation happens where in the sector of the soul mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is a believer if somebody is is looking into toward the god mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Guru Nanak said, take is a little different. He said, don't blame that. Blame your, you know, tuning. Mm -hmm. He said, this is, life is an opportunity to, to experience that, that uh, carnival. Mm -hmm. And to do that, you need to see clearly. So open both of your eyes and look. Mm -hmm. I found it simple. Mm -hmm. I, I I didn't find any ritual or restriction or culture. I found it fascinating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one could say if you're attuned to what your uh, what your mind is saying, how your body reacts, how your soul is into the conversation. So if you're attuned to that. You become conscious and that is where you come to a choice point how what you're going to do with your actions Probably. because otherwise you're always if it's it if it remains unconscious if you don't do the conversation then you will be then your actions you won't be free because your actions will be dictated by a subconscious mm -hmm. pull towards something you're not deliberately choosing to go left or right so uh, uh, exactly exactly but if you see we are always living this anyway mm -hmm. if we just had breakfast mm -hmm. so if i bring you another platter and say doctor have this and you will say we just had the food but physically there is a still you can consume it mm -hmm. but you don't want to so you have the choice. Are you listening to that? Mm -hmm. Are you acting on it? Mm -hmm. Have you found that mastery? Have you became that mantra? Do you have that technique mm -hmm. to turn your body as a tool, as a yantra? Mm -hmm. And your, your uh, philosophy, your personality, your consciousness, your fo focus so much as a master that you know the technique, the mode and the mood, mm -hmm. you can diagnose and say, okay, I don't want to have that now. I would like to choose to be in this state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't it? That's a superpower. So that is super. And Nana gave that superpower. Mm -hmm. And I was on the bed, couldn't move. Then I got up, mm -hmm. and as we were talking, you are from that that spectrum of healing. We should be open for everything, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like um, homeopathy have its own magic, mm -hmm. Ayurveda have its own magic. So when I look into therapy, I look into preventional mm -hmm. and a cure. You know, so you are coming in from cure sector. Mm -hmm. I have been given option. Don't let that happen. So I, uh, can can cure happen? Of course, mm -hmm. of course. But I preferred to go route of prevention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So deal with it outside of. I'm like the old school. I come out of my castle and meet the enemy miles ahead mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to prevent less damage. Yeah. So that's what Guru Nanak's teaching was. Meet the issue head on. Embrace the challenge and make fun out of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And don't take yourself too seriously, yeah, isn't it? No. Because we were telling so much jokes yeah. <laughs> at breakfast and laughing and it's like 
that you come really to a point where you can just enjoy life, yeah. where you can be at ease, where you can tell jokes, where you can have that sausage. And uh, yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> remember, Dr. Thing is like, your dad or your mom brought you a gift with a lot of sentiment, mm -hmm. a beautiful gift, more than the value of the time and, and the money they could hold, they brought it for you. Mm -hmm. And you said, yeah, thank you. And, and they don't see you using it. It's just collecting dust or haven't been appreciated. It's there, yes, haven't thrown it into bin, but when they buy you next time a gift, they will think 10 times, right? Mm -hmm. So your body, your life is a gift to you. If you don't use it, your eyes are there to see and you sit for two hours, eyes closed and hands like this. <laughs> of course, I will use the word God, mm -hmm. the creator, the source will think like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I, I have given you this to be utilized, it's meaningful, mm -hmm. what are you doing mm -hmm. with your time? Mm -hmm. So I see it like that, mm -hmm. so therefore I do find it, it is a crime to be sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose of our life that we were given? Of this, of this gift, can we can we tell that for a general? Can we have a general purpose, or is it that every person has its own? No, no, smile. Yeah. So that smile. that's the ultimate purpose mm -hmm. of being here. All these challenges, all of this chaos, all this ups and down, the oopsie daisy. But how do you go <laughs> throughout that? How do you stay in a bus? How do you stay above? How everything is like, how do you just become that superstar on the stage of life? Mm -hmm. And you act it through with the distinction and people say, wow, mm -hmm. what a performance. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just opportunity. Mm -hmm. So life is there to be lived. That's why mm -hmm. it's given to you as a gift. And I say this to my my friends who who are religious and they believe in a ritualistic manner. Mm -hmm. I have so many friends, Muslims and Hindus and Christians, and they have their routines. And I love that, respect that. It's just a different way. You know, if you and me both going to Kalsaru, mm -hmm. I may take a train and you may take a car. Mm -hmm. it's, but we're both going to Karlsruhe. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong? You can take your car, yes, fine. Mm -hmm. So why should I say, no, Dr. Melissa, there's only one way to go to Karlsruhe and that's my way and everything else is false and fake. Mm -hmm. So I say this very often, I said to my friends, that if God is like the creator, Mm -hmm. and created us all and we here in the body are there to create to make God happy mm -hmm. right that's the normal religious thing is make, make God happy so that you can go to heaven mm -hmm. I said if, if mom dad created us I take to very physical analogy the mom and dad created us mm -hmm. and they see us sad. Will mom and dad be happy? No. <laughs> and as simple as that, if you want your God to be happy, mm -hmm. then you be happy. Yeah. Be your happiest. Yeah. Learn that and spend time and focus to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And for, on that road to happiness, 
we talked about that, that you have to express your emotions, deal your emotions, you deal with them maybe a lot of despair, with a lot of sadness, with a lot of frustration before that. But on this road, where it, what oftentimes I, I see in people, I feel in people, is that it's so difficult for them to express their emotions. Yeah. And, and I'm, I also always ask myself, why is that? Why do we nowadays in Western culture, or maybe also in the East, have such a problem to express our emotions, to even put a name on it? Because people say, I like, I don't even know what's happening. I, I feel bad, but I don't know exactly what, what kind of, bad and I they, they can't put even a name on that. Why is that? Dr. Emotional agility is the key. When we don't know what is around the corner, we can't see it, how can we tell? And nobody have trained us. We been put into rat race to become a lawyer, become a doctor, become an engineer, become this and that and so that 35, 40 years of your life you can make a lot of money so then you can just chill. Mm. I mean, huh? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> where we should have been, this is not bad, this is okay. We should do, yeah, of course, we should have a comfortable life, but same time, a primary education should have been for emotional agility. Mm -hmm. The life is m just more than the bank balance. Mm -hmm. Life is more than just having kids. Life is more than making a house. Life is more than going for holidays. Mm -hmm. Understand your life. And what is the basics of life? What is the primary structure of life? Emotions, feelings, and moods. Mm -hmm. It was a complicated thing. Yes, because you're feeling maybe from the... 24 hours a day, 8 hours you're sleeping and the rest of the hours you're... Even when you are sleeping, experience. you are feeling. Yes, dreaming you're yeah, feeling. You, you, you think, you know, there was somebody chasing you and then you were flying, <laughs> then you jumped and on the plane and you swing the plane and you hit the monster. See, you are still feeling yeah. and you wake up sweating. Yes. <laughs> so, with that, you, if you're not feeling, you're dead. Mm -hmm. But that's how it is. Mm -hmm. Then your body does not respond to anything. You dragged, you don't feel anything because there's no emotions left. Mm -hmm. So if you say, what is, how do I feel my life? I said, emotions. And let me help you mm -hmm. to be in touch with you, to your emotions. Mm -hmm. And it's not sad at all. It is actually brings you out of sadness. Is only happens when we don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe people will think, well, but if, but if I start feeling my sadness, then I will be more sad. But it's like <laughs> something you go through, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, it's it's like a right? beautiful chocolate wrapped up in really nice in box and you can even smell it through all of this wrapping. I really want to have it. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it, you're feeling like, I can't have it. I will really want to have it. And you say, should I have it? So you're so much here. Hey, open it up. Take a bite. Oh, yeah, so cool. <laughs> it's, see, it's the same energy. Mm -hmm. We are just sitting here. Don't overthink that is water wet. Hey, jump. <laughs> jump, <laughs> swim, have fun. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your life. Sadness is just not thinking clearly. There is bigger, there's, there's a bliss. Once you walk into that, nothing like this will touch you ever. You won't even have a headache. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And do you think there is, um, it, it's good for us or it serves us to sometimes stop thinking? To put the mm. mind in blank? No, don't do that. There are schools who say, uh -huh. close your eyes. Get into this mudra and slow down your breath and focus on it and not empty your mind. I'm from just different practice, but 
that's dangerous. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't don't get into diversional art. Mm -hmm. You diverting. You born to think. Mm -hmm. Thinking is inevitable. Mm -hmm. The problem is you don't know how to think right. That's all. And Nanak launches his program with the jump, how to contemplate. Once Dr. Melissa thought, hmm, hmm, I think I'm gonna become a doctor. <laughs> Whoa, everything was set out, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to this school, that school, I'm gonna do this, I need this sort of GPA, I need to do, you know, everything was clear. Then journey was a fun, it was not, okay, shall I become a lawyer or a graphic designer or what shall I do? And now here is the problem. Mm -hmm. The person doesn't know how to think. So don't stop your thinking because thinking is a blessing of your mind. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's reaching out to you with the arms open and saying, come and hug me. Mm -hmm. Don't block your thought process. Yes, invest into learning how to think in clarity. Mm -hmm. And for that you need emotional agility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you at the beginning of our conversation you said to win the heart of your yeah. mind. And so how do I start that? How do how do I win the heart of my mind? Are you with somebody? Yes. How did you win the heart? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. How did you learn that to win that person's heart? Comes from where? Your mind have taught you how to win somebody's heart. Yeah. And you are saying you can't play reverse psychology? Mm -hmm. So it's about conversation. Oh, like yeah. There having, you having dinner with your mind. <laughs> ah, yeah. Of course, it's as easy as that. Today you will sit down with your mind. You'll find your soulmate. Mm -hmm. Remember the word soul mate. <laughs> Mind is soulmate. Yes. You will never be alone. Alone you will be enough. I never saw it in that in that from that perspective, but I think a lot of things become clear but because if you see modern relationships or like marriages nowadays as a reflection of the relationship of people with their mind like inside of them and when you have a mind who's constantly criticizing you and fighting you and and yeah creating suffering because of all your thinking then it, that will reflect in our relationships also with other people or with our boyfriend or husband or yeah everybody it's, it's like one partner speaks um, spanish the other partner doesn't speak Spanish, it only speaks German. Mm -hmm. They both don't understand each other, they want to express and there's a lot of frustration and sometimes things goes wrong and that's what's happening with us. Mm -hmm. We think our mind is okay with German and English and Sanskrit and Punjabi and no. If you want to be in a relationship with your man, then you need to understand emotional agility. Mm -hmm. Emotion. That's why Guru Nanak never used Punjabi, he used Guru Mukhi. Mm -hmm. Sound uh, from the mouth of the Guru as a technique, as, as it was felt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a sound which is not dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Word which is alive, which is wisdom, it's not just a knowledge. Mm -hmm. So Guru Mukhi is a language which was created by Guru Nanak or by who? Where does Guru it come Mukhi from? Guru was a program, sound current program, which is not a language. Okay. So because in narrative in, in India those time was Sanskrit is is a language of the, the angels, uh -huh. devas, mm -hmm. so it's a sacred. So Arabic mm -hmm. is sacred, mm -hmm. you know, so Roman is sacred, right? Mm -hmm. So then the language was dividing people. Mm -hmm. And Nanak says, I don't want to have it. So his wisdom, he invented a different face work. So those seekers had to understand, uh, uh, you know, a different way to read it. Mm -hmm. 
so they are not falling into the box of category and conditioning mm -hmm. and religious and cultural conditioning. Mm -hmm. So he created the second group formalized, Guru Mukhi. Mm -hmm. So when you read Guru Nanak, you in one sentence you see one from Persia, one from Sanskrit, another regional dialect, next word from Punjabi. So he he makes you feel rather than find the meanings. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and uh -huh. I, I find it wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can be Indian and German. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can be Hindu and Muslim at the same time. It doesn't ma make a difference. It gives me so much. Like I can hang around anywhere mm -hmm. with everybody, with in anything. And I don't have to f formally fit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's like, like water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You become what comes there. Mm -hmm. Glass, you become glass. Bottle, you become bottle. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like that freedom. The other thing you said about modern time, we make the modern. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. modern makes us. It's our convenience and comfort zone that we create conditioning. Mm -hmm. We say, oh, uh, you know, I find it not so good to eat with hands. It's very, mm, that's 1940 to 1980s. Mm -hmm. That's like, Mm, how can you, like food is not to be eaten by flam kukun you <laughs> you know now you hold it yeah. burgers yeah hey where is your etiquette now according to that if that was a culture but in a modern terms we started bringing comfort and convenience at front and everything is evolving to this new modern and in this new modern, we are neglecting ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have time. Check your screen time uh, today. Later on, it will be like hours and hours on social media and this, that. And when you say, how much time did I spend with myself? It will be a sad story mm -hmm. that with ourselves, we don't have time. And people are in so much rush. And I, I say to my friend, I said, he said, shall we stop by the um, fast food? And I thought he was busy. I said, yeah, no problem. And then he did something and he said, very quickly, I'm going to do this. And very quickly. And, and I said, why you are in so much rush? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with so much time mm -hmm. at home? Are you going to do some yogic <laughs> stuff or what? He said, no, no. Mm -hmm. And at home he came, he was on the social media. And I was like, there, you, you don't see this. There is a rush where you should have given a time. It was okay for you to spend two hours to eat that meal you worked eight hours for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had no time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a bank where you go to save your everything, your future, you had, you had to rush into that. For what? What is on the Twitter? What are the things? What are the do? So we are creating this modern narrative. And look, people will get hurt. Mm -hmm. But I'm not worried about it. Because nature is much bigger than what we can think. Mm -hmm. It will take over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will. I think nature will put pressure on people so much that they will have no choice than no choice. becoming conscious of those things. And this yes. is maybe why people, why we have so much hospitals, why we are, have lack of doctors, because we have, we have every time more and more people suffering from some kind of disease and we're not addressing the mind. We're, we're leaving the mind out or we're even putting more trauma on the mind, mm -hmm. telling people, you have cancer and you're going to die from it and you have maybe two or three years left or maybe six months left and then this is another thing that puts the mind into a state of anxiety oh, oh there is another I'm way you know to look into it you have six months can you live 60 in six it can be another flip uh -huh. another way to yeah. make every second count mm -hmm. 
-hmm. We're gonna die anyway. Mm -hmm. If not in six months, even in six years or sixty years, everybody's gonna go. Mm -hmm. So what is so new about leaving this world? Mm -hmm. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. But the problem is not with the death. The problem is is with living. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to celebrate, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's maybe this this sense of, oh my God, I haven't lived my life and now I'm going to die and I'm going to die before I lived and yeah. this is horrible. And when we <laughs> say, oh my God, and God says, what are you talking about? I gave you life to live and you're telling me, oh my God, and I'm like, you're confusing me. Mm -hmm. God probably thinking like that. Mm -hmm. Our source, our mind, our soul are saying, hey, you have no time to spend with me. And you want me to carry you? Mm -hmm. No, you go to hell and life becomes hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the source of breast cancer in women? And it's getting, it, it's not as much as before. Mm -hmm. it's, it's changing with the modern uh, shift in the scenarios. But mm -hmm. what is the problem? Why is it only so prominent in females? Have we thought about it? No. Answer is very simple. And we can prevent that. Mm -hmm. But nobody has time. Nobody's interested. They are interested to sell and buy. Mm -hmm. People are so... It's so cool. So complicated. But it's so cool. People want things to be complicated. Mm -hmm. They're not fan of simplicity anymore. Mm -hmm. I, if I say smile is the solution, mantra of life is smile. And I say, huh, it can't be just that simple. Now, what can I do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have two last questions, maybe. One question is another question that just came to me, and it is what happens with a, with a person when the person loses his or her mind, like with a disease like dementia or Alzheimer. What happened there? Because there is, it seems like suddenly the mind is gone. Uh, we lose the connection with that, the other person's mind. That person doesn't. It finds new meanings, a new way to connect and be mm -hmm. with that source. Yeah? We're First, it was not listening to his mind and the body was showing its own display. Now, the mind is not listening to body. Mm -hmm. and, and we find it difficult. Mm -hmm. It is a mental state. Dementia, Alzheimer, insomnia, and can be fixed mm -hmm. or prevented. Mm -hmm. Emotional agility is the key. Mm -hmm. um, but we are making meanings out of things. Okay, why does cancer happen? Yeah, good question. Answer is not complicated. Why can dementia be prevented? Yes. Yes. We have to change things. We need to spend more time with our mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When if you don't use it, you lose it. You do. There you go. <laughs> you got the mantra. If you don't use it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if Dr. Melissa was here and I was living in, in, in the same house and I don't speak to her. Mm -hmm. Every single time she is in the kitchen or in the living room, I avoid her. I stay myself in, what will happen? Dementia. Mm -hmm. That's what dementia is. Mm -hmm. I can't put it more simpler than that. Mm -hmm. Ignoring your mind. Your mind is a mighty force. It will ignore you. The day mind starts ignoring you, you ain't gonna like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then shadow is in trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can be upset stomach, your mind saying, hey, listen. It can be migraine and mind saying, can't you listen? And if you don't listen, trouble. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. how simple the healing can be. Mm -hmm. But you got to be yogi to do this. I mean, capable. I'm using Sanskrit word. You got to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. To, to, to you need to be equipped to fight with this challenge, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So my last question for How today. You had a because... thousand questions. <laughs> <laughs> my last question for today, because I have more questions, but maybe I will. Um, we we'll build a I will have the chance to. You know, yeah. Netflix with the yogic hocus pocus. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have the, the the chance to have another conversation with you Indeed. in another video. But for today, my last question would be: If you could give the world one teaching, only one, which one would it be? Nothing. <laughs> if you don't care about yourself, uh-huh. why should I carry you? Mm-hmm. I don't care. I don't have a time for I can't give you anything. Mm-hmm. Only share with you that life is worth living every second. Don't waste it in the nonsense. Sense able, when you're able to use your senses, you're yogi, sensible, you're educated, mm-hmm. you are skilled, you're trained, sensible, right? And when you're not, we call it nonsense. Mm-hmm. That's all I can sh- share with you. Either you are happy, doctor, mm-hmm. either you're not. Mm-hmm. And if you're not, take it seriously. Mm-hmm. Let's change that. And for that, you're there. <laughs> uh, you for- don't need me, really. Like, you need me for what? I'm not, I can't <laughs> carry you. I, yeah, I can share. Mm-hmm. my maps with you mm-hmm. so you are not when you are in Frankfurt you don't carry uh, the the map of uh, New York with you and you say I have the map I know how to read it but I don't find it mm-hmm. you got different map for a different country mm-hmm. so I can help you few things mm-hmm. but I'm not the driver you are mm-hmm. I can only navigate And if you miss the turn, I'll recalculate. Yes, that I can do. Mm-hmm. But you don't really need me. Mm-hmm. You're not dependent on anybody. You need your mind, your soulmate. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much.